It's time to dust off your favourite chair and sit in front of the big screen TV. Get a drink in your hand because it's five o'clock somewhere. Your number one host, the thunder from down under, the man on a quest to make money for beer. Can the most electrifying manager in sports entertainment, the man they call Fabio, take Sutton United all the way to the Champions League final? Well, let's find out in today's episode of the Youth Edition. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Youth Edition Career Mode here with Sutton United, EAFC 24. We sit in 11th spot, we've had some pretty good run of form, but we ran into a little bit of a roadblock there in the last episode. Exeter City absolutely touching us up, and a draw in the FA Cup, we will have the replay in today's episode. We're also taking on uh, Morecambe, Gillingham. and I dare say Bristol Rovers. So uh, Bristol sitting second, Gillingham... Uh, 17th and Morecambe uh, bottom of the table. So hopefully we can get some points here today and that'll get us through to about midway into December. Let's jump into a player upgrade. Today's player upgrade is in for Jake Hardy. It comes in from Online Odys. Thank you very much for your comment. 23 thumbs up uh, at the time of recording. He's gone with the number 10. Apparently he's a fan of James Madison. Some Adidas Predator Accuracy 1 boots, average socks, light blue ankle tape, yellow sweatband on the left, and white tape on the right wrist. And um, yeah, okay. He's got a, a punishing boot, that's for sure. But it looks like he might try and hook someone with that right hand. But uh, Hardy, the number 10. Right, and let's get us a, uh, an upgrade in here for the Croatian centre-back in Ivkovic. If you want to make any changes to his number or his kit, let me know in the comments section, of course. Thumbs up on the ones you like, and we'll get him upgraded in a future episode. Good luck. Well, the first game today, we are taking on 24th place, Morecambe. Uh, they've had a couple of wins of late, though, so uh, they're up and about, but looking quite tired. Um, yeah, 4 2 3 1, counter attack style football. We'll have to watch out for Mayor on the wing. Hopefully, we can get over them. They are sitting in last place. Right, we will line up like this. Gordon gets a start on the left hand side. I'm going to try Dufresne on the right. Um, just with Potter, he's starting on the bench today, coming back from injury. So I want to see if Dufresne can uh, fill that right-hand wing role for now. He's obviously needing minutes, and um, I've got high hopes for the lads. Hardy starts in the camp position. Stojanovic is back as well. And, uh, you know, we're not fully stamina ready, but it's they're in last place. We are on the road. Let's see if we can get the points. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. On the road against the Prawns. Already got that counter-attacking style. Someone tries to get up with rain. Good clearance. We will come straight back in. Come on, boys. Shut it down. Oh, come on, McLean. 1 0 Morecambe. It's the perfect start for the Prawns. Oh, my days. Not the start we're looking for. McLean, did you see it? I'm not sure he did. A hyper motion shot here. It was an absolute clusterfuck in the box. How did he even get that shot away? Maybe McLean didn't see it. There was a lot of bodies in front of him. 1 0 Morecambe. Stojanovic. Ivkovic. Stojanovic. They've got a lot of bodies here. A lot of movement from Sutton. Ivkovic. Stojanovic. That's Hardy. Jackson. Back inside, Hardy tries to push his way through. Coleman, oh, good save. The frame has missed. Good from Ivkovic. His body in the way. The frame plays this one forward. Coleman just holds it up. And then Dufresne on the outside. The Belgian working down the wing. Might need to cross it back here. Brings it inside. Hardy. Oh, that's a good finish. A really good finish from Hardy. We're back in the game at 1-1. That's his sixth goal of the season. Now, more known for his uh, long bombs from downtown, but just got himself in a really good position here. Cut back, made himself some space, and gets the finish. It's 1-1. We're right back into this game. Good finish from Jake Hardy. Oh, lovely big tackle. Crushing from Ivkovic. Gordon keeps it in. It gets picked off by Gohan Yun. Come on, Stojanovic. From Wilson. Dufresne. 
Oh, I tried run and gun, but couldn't break the lines. Half time approaching. Ivkovic gets a big foot in. And there is half time. It is 1 1, a tight contested fixture, this one. Good from Kane. Just took it straight off him. Coleman. The frame. Pushes back inside. Finds Hardy. Hardy pushing. Lays it through. Has Coleman. He'll pull the trigger. Good block from Rawson again, but a corner here for Sutton. Ivkovic. Allen. Miss Hardy. Drives his way forward. Oh! He gets hit, son! 2 1 Sutton United. Hardy with his second. It's an absolute belter from downtown. His seventh of the season. He's absolutely laced that one. What a finish. Get in. And Sutton takes the lead. It's 2 1. Jake Hardy. The man, the myth, the legend from the midfield. Brilliant stuff. Loving those new boots. Oh, you're fucking kidding me! What are you doing, lads? How the fuck did you let that in? A free kick from nearly halfway. Ivkovic, use your body, mate. Oh, that's tragic. And clean, just thought it was covered. 2-2. Two, two. Oh, no. 3-2. Morecambe regains the lead. And we've looked a little bit shaky here at the back. Ivkovic. Out to dry. And the prawns have regained the lead. Alan misses a challenge. Ivkovic trying to mark two, but sort of backed away from the contest. McLean not getting a lot of help here from his defenders today. Why would you go with the left arm? Go with the right, lad. Three, two. All right, let's make some changes. Jensen checking in for Ivkovic. Jeez, he's a bit nervous. He's getting gray hair now, Ivkovic, already. But uh, the big story is Taylor Potter. He's back for Sutton. Well, Sutton with another corner. We need to make something out of this one. Delivers it in. Bob Gartner tries to get the touch. Hardy. Trying to get on the end of it. Falls to Jackson. He lays it back. Has Potter. Oh, jeez. Well off target. And that's probably going to be it. Oh, my days. It's a defeat to Morecambe. 3 2. Well, I'll tell you what, for once it was an even contested game. Two counter-attacking sides, but zero saves from McLean today. Hmm. Right, performance-wise, Hardy gets himself a 9.1 with two belters. Jackson and Wilson patrolled the midfield well. Stojanovic, uh, Potter checked in, and McLean only gets a 4.3. Right, today we take on the 14th place, Gillingham. Uh, some up and down form for a one and a half star team, a 4 1 3 2 formation. Standard tactics. Watch out for Dieng. Right, we are going to line up like this. Potter will start, even though he has no sharpness. We've got to play him into some form. Uh, Papoudis gets a start. Marsh gets a start. Bumgarner, even after that real dodgy issue in uh, the last fixture, he's at full fitness and well, we're a little bit tired. Even Dufresne is going to start up top. Coleman's only at like 50% stamp. So uh, let's see what we can do here against Gillingham at home. Right, back in front of the home fans. We'll be looking to uh, turn things on. It's been a few dodgy games of late. And we need to find some form to start scraping uh, those points we need to get back up the table. Better from Ivkovic. Gartner to Hardy. Really putting some pressure on Hardy. Gets his way forward again. Lays it back off. Hardy kept on running. Somehow gets through, finds Bumgartner. In here for Potter. Oh, leveled. Oh, no, Potter's down. Potter's down. Corner for Gillingham, 37 gone. Deep here into the box. Ivkovic missed it completely. Go from Frank. From Gartner. Push on forward and then lays it forward. Wanted Hardy. Come on, play the ball he needs.
Jackson does well, gets it out here. There's Potter. Just tries to take his man on. Oh, Taylor Potter. What a run. He's got to finish it. Oh, what a save. Oh, that would have been majestic. That's the corner. Ready to deliver. Frank Allen. Get in, Frank. 1 0 Sutton on the cusp of half time. And it's big Frank Allen wearing the captain's Alan, armband Alan, today. Alan. Shushes the crowd. And they're your own fans, mate. There's no need to shush them. 1 0 Sutton United. The big man at the front. Frank the tank. Good finish. 1 0 Sutton United. It's Frank Allen. Let's put one home and we can't see because of the big uh, staunchins or whatever they're bloody called. But it's 1 0. And there is the half time whistle. 1 0 to Sutton. Oh, Dufresne just took it off him. Oh, and then he's level from behind. Ref! Fucking send him. That's disgraceful behaviour. What are you going on about, mate? Yeah, see you later, dickhead. Knew it. Sharon a wake for you, buddy. Bye. And Gillingham are down to 10, man. What a disgusting challenge. He lost the ball. Shut himself. And he's taken down to Frank. And they're down to 10, man. Well, right, make some changes. Coleman, Alvarez, Howe, Jensen, and Kirikopoulos all checking in. Stojanovic. Gillingham is still going to have a red hot crack at only 1 0 down. Stoyanovic. Kirikopoulos. There's Coleman. Oh, now you're 2 0 down. Coleman checks in and goes straight to work. Uh, 15 for the season, I think. And the big fridge gets the job done. Just need to exploit the space here. Uh, a lovely ball from Kirikopoulos playing central defensive midfield today. And that's a good finish from Coleman. The substitutions have worked. It's 2 0. Plays it off. Kirikopoulos. Finds Potter. Inside Coleman. Lovely touch. Coleman. Oh, he's missed again. Brings it back for Coleman. And just picked off by Jeffries. Uh, I didn't think we'd get much out of him. Maybe half an hour. But good work there from Sutton United. Fighting back. It's a 2 0 victory. Match facts. Almost even possession. One save for McLean. And 40% uh, shot accuracy. But Gillingham were worse with only 25%. Well, Allen gets himself an 8.1. Man of the match performance. Uh, four tackles with a 75% tackle success rate. But Portis, 7.4. Potter was good, 7.4. Playing him into some form. Uh, Coleman checked in for a 7.1. Gardner, Dufresne, Jensen... And uh, McLean even a 6.8. Good effort, lads. Time for the FA Cup replay. A 1-1 draw with Barrow, but uh, that 5-3-2 holding. We're going to their stadium now. Wing play. We know what they're all about. Let's hope that we're up for it, because I'd like to get through to the next round of the FA Cup. I think we can beat Barrow. Right, and we will line up like this. Howe and Gordon on the wings. Wilson is back in. Keane is back in. Uh, Ivkovic. Come on. Let's get the job done here. Coleman struggling for stamina at the moment. And Hardy too. But Alvarez is about the same as Hardy. So uh, let's just see how many minutes we can get out of these lads. Let's try and get an early lead and just put this one in the bag. All right, ladies and gentlemen. FA Cup replay. Just more fixtures that we need to play. But let's see if we can get it done. This is the best kit we could sort out. Because I was not wearing the home kit while we are away. Hardy. Four pass. Hardy. Oh, big Frank Allen. Oh, he loves a run. He's galloping his way forward. Jeez. Go on, Frank. Go on, Frank. Whips it in for Gordon. We'll get a corner. Good run from Frank Allen. Go from Stojanovic. That's Hardy. Have to take this one wide. Does he have the legs? He's stunned to tire here. Plays it inside though, finds Gordon. He tries to break the line. Still trying Gordon, what a run. It's majestic. It's Gordon, it's Hardy, it's Howe. He can't get a foot on the shot. Good from Gordon. Stojanovic, Jackson. 
Can't get that one through. It's a real pressure cooker here. Oh, Ivanovic. <laughs> fuck me! Put some body work in! Barrow one, Sutton fuck all. <sighs> FA Cup. Come on, boys, you gotta lift. Ivkovic should look so solid. And he has a couple of games off, loses all of his sharpness, and next minute, he's turned into a puddle. 1 0. Oh, fuck off! 2 0 Barrow! They've turned it on in the last 10 minutes. Sutton's gone to sleep. Fuck me, boys. He's there, trying to get a tackle in, but no one picking up the runner. 2 0. Stojanovic. Home and run, lad. Fuck me! 2 0, half time, and so much work to do. Run a couple of changes here. Dufresne and Alvarez checking in for Coleman and Hardy. Got to freshen this team up and change the dynamic. Here's Toby Howe. Oh my days. How's your fucking passing, mate? Dog shit. And two minutes to go. We're making changes. Most of this team is uh, out on their feet. In the late corner for Barrow, but this one is done and dusted. And we are out of the FA Cup. Jeez, I don't know if it's just too many games for the lads, but it's been piss poor over the last few. And we are out of the FA Cup. Right, we nearly matched them for possession. Two saves from McLean. We only had two shots for the game. 0% shot accuracy. Performance-wise, well, it was our back line that was well under pressure. And unfortunately, we are out of the FA Cup. Right then, and it's time to take on Bristol Rovers. They sit top of the table. 71 attack rating. Holy moly. And the counter-attack. We might be in trouble here. We're not uh, fully ready to go, but they're looking a little bit tired. I don't know. We'll see what we can do. Right, we go with Potter Coman, Dufresne, Hardy, Jackson, Wilson, Stojanovic, Ivkovic, Alan Keane, and McLean between the sticks. We need some sort of spirited performance here today. Bristol Rovers, top of the table. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go again. Let's bounce back. Oh, what's going on here? What's go <laughs> Sharon a wank in the fourth minute, mate. You may as well not have even kitted up. What's he done there? I don't know if that's a red. Okay. Bristol down to 10. Potter wins this one down. Hardy. Lay it forward. Taylor Potter. He's through. Go on. Go on. Finish. You're oh, unlucky. Tackle from Ivkovic. There's Potter. Push forward and try and draw the man wide. Hardy moving into space. But Potter will take it himself. Potter. Oh, he's here. He's back. Taylor Potter. Starting to find that touch. That's him, lad. Oh, they're down to 10 men. But... Taylor Potter. We know this lad could really have some class. And, well, he's going with the left boot. A little finesse finish. Got to do better than that, keeper. 1 0 Sutton United. But up, heads it away. Coleman. Hardy. Plays one forward. The French trying to get there. And there's half time. 1 0. Thanks to Taylor Potter. Oh, come on, lads. There's fucking only 10 of them. You've got a spare man. Surely you can pick one of them up. Fuck's sake. 1 1. Just leaving that little bit of space. Mark closer. What's that, Ivkovic? A little ballerina foot thrown out there. 
Well, let's make some changes, freshen things up. Maybe we can run over the top of them. We've Garner, Alvarez, Marsh, and Jensen checking in. Bojanovic wins the head up on Gartner, throwing his body in. Marsh on Gartner. Oh, no, that's taking a bubble. Here's Kane. He wants to rush forward. Still goes Kane. Lays it inside. Jackson lays it back. Alvarez, fucking let's go! Fucking come on, Sutton United! Alvarez gets his third of the season. Well, they're down to 10 men. They went down early. We have to make the most of this. Changes work again. Alvarez with a finish. A little bit of Brazilian flair from the midfield. Lovely ball from Jackson. And that is a clean finish from Alvarez. 2-1 Sutton United. Get in, lads. Well, Jensen, you've let him straight through. Frank. Oh, is that a free kick or did he get the shot away? And it's a class save from McLean. It is. Corner. Put up. Just tries to clear. And Gartner tries to push it forward. And they come again. Defend, boys. Everyone, fucking get in and do a job. Oh, retreat. Oh, squeaky bum time. We'll try and whip it in. Potter! Oh, get in! Get in, Taylor Potter! Ah, oh, the Quidditch master himself. He's got two. He started to find some tricks. Four for the season after being out for three months. Well, that glassing in the leaky cauldron. He's used his head there. Just on side. Get in, Sutton. Get the fuck in. 3-1. And there's the whistle. We take down the league leaders again. 3-1. Well, we only had 36% possession, even on shots. I mean, it was a tough fixture. Our shot accuracy was a lot better today. And three saves from McLean. One of those was clutch. All right, performance-wise, Potter with a 9.2. Bumgarner checked in, did some hard work for once. Got himself an assist and an 8.4. Alvarez as well, good goal from him. Assist for Jackson. McLean gets a 6.8. And uh, unfortunately, Hardy and that didn't really have much of an impact today. We're a little bit long in the legs. Right, we're nearly at the halfway point of the season. Let's have a quick look at some player stats. Coleman is almost uh, in contention here for the Golden Boot at the moment. 15 goals from 21 matches. And I don't think we've got anyone else on this list. He's definitely been the out-and-out -out scorer. Uh, assists. Okay, Jackson has five. Our central defensive midfielder. Arbaesque. And uh, what else have we got? Hardy has four. Clean sheets. Well, McLean has seven. Okay. He might be in contention if we can uh, shut up shop a few more times. But, uh, yeah, we're on the leaderboard, so that's the main thing. Right then. Obviously, we are out of the cup competitions now. Um, so we can probably look to maybe loan a few extra players out if we can handle the squad depth. Uh, we're almost at that transfer window. But we sit in 10th position. Uh, Bristol's still on top with the 43 points. We're on 35. So we're only eight points back from first. It's a, a tight contested league this season. Um, Morecambe down there on 19. But yeah, we're definitely in the games. It's either a win or a loss, very rarely a draw. Our goal difference is only negative one. Uh, so, you know, you can, you can sort of say at this point of the season, we're doing all right. We want to go on with it, though. Uh, we do have a game in hand on a few teams above us. So technically... If we win the next game and go to 38 points, shit, we could be up inside the, the, the playoff realms. Uh, we've got MK Dons. They sit in seventh. And Colchester on the horizon as well. They're down in 20th. Just need to keep beating some of these bigger teams and not losing to the smaller teams. You can see, yeah, two games. We'll have a uh, squad report, youth academy report, all that kind of stuff in the next episode, as well as transfers and some games. So hopefully you're looking forward to that one. We finished the episode in 10th. We'll see you next time. I'm Spiring DK. It's five o'clock somewhere. And you have a good one. The Spiring DK channel now has Patreon. And if you feel like just going that little 
extra step to help uh, you know the channel grow, you can go across to the website, pledge your allegiance to myself, and uh, for one dollar a month, you're basically putting it in a jar and allowing for us to go and buy some more beers and record some more beer drinking episodes. Thank you very much to the current lads that have gone ahead and supported the channel. Absolutely tremendous to see anybody willing just to give that one dollar a month at this stage. I cannot thank you from the bottom of my heart. You, you really will make a difference in the future. So jump across there if you're that way inclined to the Patreon channel. Sign up today and we'll see if we can get some extra beer drinking episodes for you at home. Now if you are looking for some more content, we've got a couple of videos. One here, one here, and if you want to subscribe, there's a button right there. So go ahead, subscribe, and you'll be notified when the videos go live. Make sure you put on that notifications bell. We'll see you next time.